I wanted guys to come and put their artwork down here to add something to our neighborhood here, which I knew would be a positive thing. The first guy to come and approach me about it, he goes by uh, Dos, is his tiger name. Uh, we had a, a good long talk about what we wanted the wall to be like. We wanted it to be a positive thing. I gave him, you know, the green light right away to bring guys down to put their artwork down, and it's worked out really good between me and him. The latest piece I did says right to remain, and it has a huge wrecking ball that's taking out the rights. And I'm doing more social political stuff now that I find that I'm given the opportunity to be on a small soapbox and be able to say something and to reach more people than the average graffiti writer. So I chose to go more on a morally and ethic journey with the whole thing and stand up for everybody and say what the community is feeling and for what the times are being and, and not just in the U.S. but in the world right now. So. I'm just trying to give the voice of everybody on the streets, and, and that's been my latest work and the stuff that I'm doing. There's been people to jump on board and give up their buildings as space to do their artwork. Uh, the liquor store right behind me, he uh, gave them a whole wall, actually two walls of his liquor store, so they can do graffiti art on, on his walls also.